Hi guys, let's go and get some hay at the neighbor's place. We're gonna take our little tractor to transport two bales of hay. As you can see over there, this is just the group of the cows that we've had for a long time. And the other cows, they're still a lot by themselves over at the different place. This is the first time ever that I give kelp to my animals. We've always done other minerals and salts, but this is the first time for kelp. And it's gonna be very interesting to see if they're gonna eat it or not, and how much and all of that. I'm going to give them free access to the kelp uh, trusting that they know the best uh, what they need and how much they need of it. Now what I expect here is that they will eat a ton of kelp now in the beginning because I think that um, the cows might eat a ton to catch up on all the mineral deficiency that they might have. Um, that's always Joel Salatin's experience that um, when he when he gets new cows that he thinks he's gonna go bankrupt. That's how much kelp they eat. And then um, after a few days they will uh, have caught up and filled up and gotten the minerals that they need. So let's see here if we can observe this. It's going to be very interesting to me. Let's see here. Put it 
right here. <laughs> Cows might actually tear this off fairly quickly. Well, let's see what they say. I'm quite curious actually to where the other cows are. They were standing here this morning before I brought the hay and they were hungry, but now they have left. Oh, there they are. <whistles> Come da. Come da. There's at least one, down there's the other one. I've called them and whistled. Uh, every time I bring them hay, that's the sound I make both now when they get feed and also in the summertime when they uh, get moved. Every day at 3 o'clock, I call them and then they come and they focus on me. Giving her a little kelp there now. Let's see if she likes it. And there they are. They're coming. They are listening to my call already. It took them a while to come, but they are curious and they are familiar with my call already. Look at that. And here they are. They're coming and they're hungry. The kelp is right here. And I hope that they will go look for it at some point. If they don't touch it, I will take it back in before it rains or snows. Now you guys see um, that these cows have their uh, fur up the way at different spots than just the neck and this cow is actually the worst, she has this bigger spot down there and somebody mentioned that there might be a chance of them having ringworm, might be, uh, when I look at it I don't really see the typical symptoms that they would have all over their head especially. Um, they might have something else. There's something, some kind of lice sometimes that eats the uh, fur. You can treat them against that. You pour something on them. Um, I don't know if it's that either though. Um, I just want to give them some time here to be exposed to the sunlight, get vitamin D, and to have access to kelp and healthy food and see how this develops. And if it doesn't change, I will actually look at something. Even if they had ringworm, um, which is not very common for these animals um, because they go outside and stuff then it's still not deadly or very dangerous in that sense ideally whenever you buy new animals you want to keep the, f uh, the cows separated from the herd because uh, you want to check them for a few weeks at, at least if they have any sickness and stuff but I just don't have that ability here right now. To me this doesn't look too bad. This cow has a little scab there but it looks like she has been itching there. Ringworm to me looks a little different. Another person mentioned this feeder that there's a lot of hay that's on the ground and yes um, I've not had this issue with my homemade feeder but this where I put this large bale in it uh, they pulled down a lot of hay and I don't really know what I can do about this right now. Um, it is a bummer because if I can control them and just give them the right amount, they eat everything and they're, they're not wasteful like they are right now. But I don't know really what I can do about it with this kind of feeder. It seems like um, it'll happen. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world because I'm going to have chickens here and garden and they're going to dig it and it's going to mulch everything. But still it's very expensive hay um, or in general feed is expensive and, and it sucks to have it spill like that. Anyways, this is it for today, guys. Uh, just a little update 
I'll see you in the next video and keep you guys updated on all that's gonna happen. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.